Well, hello and welcome to Pentathlon 360, a brand new fortnightly show where we deep dive into the lives of pentathlon's super athletes ahead of this crucial qualifying year in the build-up to the rearranged Tokyo 2021 Olympic Games. Pentathlon is a unique five discipline sport pushing athletes to absolute tipping point. Our stars have to carefully navigate their way through an exhausting day of competition consisting of swimming, fencing, riding, shooting and running. Now it's a long and gruelling journey to be crowned champion of one of the world's toughest endurance sports. But modern pentathletes, while they regularly compete all over the world, flagship events include four World Cups, one World Cup final and a World Championships. An exhausting year culminating in every athlete's dream finale, the Olympic Games. Modern pentathlon is fast, frantic and exhausting. Modern pentathlon is international. Join us on a journey around the world. This is Pentathlon 360. Throughout the course of this series, we'll be talking to athletes and experts to get their views on how the season is going, but also to get to know them that little bit better with fun features that you at home can get involved with. Our first guest on this week's show is one of the lucky few athletes to have already qualified for the Tokyo 2021 Olympics. He's a two times Pan American Games gold medalist and a fantastic ambassador for the sport. It's Guatemala's Charles Fernandez. Charlie, thank you so much for joining us on the first episode of Pentathlon 360. Joining us from Hungary, not from Guatemala, which is where we originally thought we were going to talk to you, because uh, Charlie, you're competing in the uh, indoor championships in Budapest at the moment, I believe. Absolutely. It's the, uh, it's the first competition of the season for the UIPM, uh, for the UIPM circuit. Uh, and it, it's just great to get back to things after a year. Exactly a year this weekend was the last time I competed internationally, which was the first World Cup uh, in Egypt last year. One of the most unique things um, about pentathlon is just um, how much of a slog it is. It's such an intense day, isn't it? You know, you're in the pool first thing in the morning. You, you, you're still running, you know, usually six, seven o'clock in the evening from a day's event. How exhausting is it as an athlete to do so many sports over the course of one day? I guess you get used to it when you compete a lot. Uh, obviously, the first times around, you're just like, man, this sport's really, really tiring. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of stress on the body, uh, a lot of work that needs to be done. But the more you compete, the more you get used to it. Uh, and I guess the more you get used to it, the more you like it. Uh, just challenge after challenge really stresses the body, stresses the mind uh, to become better. What is it, would you say, excites you the most about modern pentathlon? What excites me most about modern pentathlon is the ability to look at the sport as an art. Uh, being able to identify uh, when mental games are being played and when a physical game is being played. Uh, I think Pond and Pentathlon combines both of those things beautifully into one. And, and when an athlete is able to manage himself in both of those areas, it's just really, really cool to see because you know, you're, you're, you're working your body to the max physically, uh, but at the same time, you need to make sure that you leave space for the mental game, whether that be in shooting, whether that be in fencing. Uh, and even when you're applying your strategy in the riding or even in the running. Um, all those things, uh, all those things bring modern pentathlon, the sport in of itself, to the most complete athlete. And I think that's one of the biggest definitions we've used over the years. Well, listen, Charlie, it's great speaking to you. Thank you so much for, for helping us sort of paint a picture of what pentathlon is like for um, new people watching uh, the show. Best of luck with the uh, indoor championships and we'll catch up with you, I'm sure, later on in the season. Now, modern pentathlon celebrates different athletes from all corners of the world. And part of the aim of this show is to introduce you guys watching at home to the stars of the sport. My name is Anita Schlitz. 
Lloyd, I'm a German model from Tassel and my favorite discipline is the laser run. Hey, I'm Joe Chung and I was number one ranked athlete in the world when the pandemic stopped all the competitions. Hi, I'm Kate French from St. Catherine TV. My best moments so far were competing at the Rio Olympic Games and winning a silver medal at the 2019 European Championship. Hello, my name is Ung Tae-jun. I'm Korean national nationalist. Hello, my name is Jun Lee. I'm Korean national nationalist. Hi, it's Valentin Prad, European champion and time winner of World Cup Final. So those are just some of the big names to familiarise yourselves with over the course of the season. We'll be catching up with some of these athletes and many more over the next few weeks and months. We'll have features and activities for you guys watching at home to get involved with, all exclusively available here on Pentathlon 360 in the UIPM social media pages. Well, hopefully for those of you new to the sport, this has given you a brief introduction to the crazy world of modern pentathlon. All your favourite athletes are currently preparing themselves for the start of the hectic 2021 World Cup season, which is set to start in Budapest later this month. Before we go, time to launch our weekly competition. Your chance to win some great UOPM merchandise. All you have to do to play is answer this simple question. What year did shooting and running become a combined discipline? What year did shooting and running become a combined discipline? If you want to play and be with a chance of winning some great prizes, post the correct answer in the comments section below this video once it's posted on your chosen social media. Tag three of your friends and make sure to follow the page. Winner and correct answer will be revealed on the next show. Good luck and we'll see you on the next edition of Pentathlon 360. Mm -hmm.